uh, one of the qualities I look for in a judge is judgment. Now, there are a number of ways to assess judgment from a legal perspective, how an individual, individual chooses to balance certain equities in a case, for example, or which method of statutory interpretation should be used. But more basically, judgment is about how a person makes decisions. So I'd like to start by taking a look at some of your writings, and hopefully you can help me understand why you decided to write some of these pieces uh, for several years, you were a regular contributor to your wife's blog, and I welcome her here. You wrote a number of blog posts under the pseudonym G. Morris, a made-up name, a pseudonym. Uh, how did you choose to, uh, which posts to write under a pseudonym? I believe I wrote all, all my posts under a pseudonym. Okay. Uh, you used the G. Uh, Morris alias when you wrote a series of posts about President Obama that seemed to focus on the President's Kenyan heritage. Uh, one of those posts quotes uh, freely from an article on World News Daily, from World News Daily, a website known for peddling conspiracy theories, fake news, and white nationalism. World News Daily was also well known for trafficking in birtherism the widely debunked and racist belief that President Obama was not born in the United States. The article you quote from suggested a reporter in Kenya was detained by the government because he was investigating, quote, Barack Obama's connections in the country. What point uh, were you trying to make in this post? This is a post titled Brothers Keepers as in, this is the name of it, keep that anti-Obama reporter in jail? Well, first of all, before getting into particular posts, I have to tell the committee there are some things I've written on the post or the blog that I wish I could phrase differently or said differently at this point. Uh, that particular post, I don't recall all the details of it, but um, I was certainly not intending to endorse any views of, uh, of another group as far as birtherism goes, um, I've never well, questioned. Well, in, in on several the other posts you wrote, you quote from or cite sources like World News Daily. How do you decide which sources to rely upon in your writings, and how did you decide which sources were credible? I was, um, as a as a blogger, I was finding things that were in the news that were of note, I thought I wasn't intending to, through the post, to say that President Obama was not born in this country. Um, I never How did you made decide that what, uh, could, could you answer my questions? How did you decide which sources were credible? And do you believe that World News Daily is a credible source? As I said, when I was doing the blog, I've made some posts that I today would not would not do, and um, I well, don't I don't particularly recall that one. What went into the decision to use that particular story? But uh, I am not endorsing any of the birther viewpoints of that particular person. Okay, let me ask you again: How did you decide? which sources were credible, and how did you decide that World News Daily is a credible source? I, I don't know whether I decided that or not. I, I just really cannot remember. For so you were free, you felt free to put posts out that cited sources that you knew were not credible? Uh, no, Senator, I'm not saying that. What are you saying? I'm saying that as a blogger, I was making political statements um, using sources that engaged in fake news, hate speech, and uh, my, again, what I was saying was is that I think we have to, uh, when we're confirming judges, look at judgment. And in my mind, using my judgment to confirm someone to the circuit court who felt free to blog and can't answer what he, how he decides whether 
to cite a, a source or not, whether it's credible or not, uh, that's disturbing to me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.